During the past four years or so, as I've been sharing my sketches online, showing the process behind them, and sharing tips and tricks on how to sketch like an architect, do you know what has been the most frequent question I got asked? What pens do you use? So in this video, I'm going to show you my favorites. Pencils, pens and color markers, which I use on everyday basis and then I can recommend for architectural sketching. Hi, David here from sketchlikeanarchitect.com. Before we start, I'd like to share my opinion on sketching tools in general. If you'd like to skip ahead for my specific recommendations, feel free to do so, just use the timestamps in the description. Now the big question for me is not what pens do you use, but will these new and better tools make you actually a better artist? If you ask me, they will not. All these tools like pencils and pens and color markers, they are just that. They are tools and they are nothing without you, the artist, architect and designer. However, these new, better or different tools might help you learn or discover new techniques, get you excited about the process and eventually, because of all the effort and time you put in, might help you actually improve in your craft after all. And that's great. The bigger point here is that all these sketching tools are very often being overrated and that they are actually secondary to the creative process. A beginner artist with a fancy fountain pen might still struggle, while an experienced and professional artist can create a beautiful piece of art with a cheap ballpoint pen. Now, you may agree or disagree with me and either way, that's absolutely fine. Just let me know in the comments what's your point of view. Having said that, let's take a look at my favorite tools which I use on pretty much everyday basis and that I can recommend for architectural drawing and sketching. I don't really have one specific favorite brand that I use, so I'll usually mention two or three brands which also differ in pricing points, so you'll very probably find an option that also fits your budget. I think about my analog sketching tools in three main categories which follow the three main phases of most of my sketches and drawings. First, pencils. For rough drafts, thumbnail sketches and underlying structure for the main line work. Second, pens or fine liners for the main line work, including shading and texturing. And third and final, color markers and brush pens for additional shading and coloring. Let's start with pencils. I haven't been really keen on using any specific type or brand of pencils until recently when I got to try these Arteza Expert Pencils. There's a set of 12 pencils in hardnesses ranging from 4H to 6B. They come pre-sharpened in a protective metal tin and they say they are extra resistant to breaking thanks to high density graphite cores. I can't really confirm or deny that, but I'm pretty satisfied with them. Now, as you can see from my sketches, I'm not using pencils for artistic figure drawing with complex shading and highlighting techniques, so I don't really dwell on what kind of pencils I'm using. I'm satisfied with these pencils from Arteza, but feel free to check out other brands like Faber-Castell or Kohinoor. Pens and fine liners are what I use the most for my black and white sketches so I've been experimenting with them a lot more. These days I'm using a combination of these three types of pens and fine liners. Stettler pigment liners, which come in a set of 12, in thicknesses ranging from 0.05 to 1.2 mm. Unipin fine liners, which come in a set of 9, with thicknesses ranging from 0.05 to 0.8 mm. And lastly, Arteza fine liners, which come in a set of 12, but in the same thickness of 0.4 mm. What's really important for me about fine liners is that they come in a different line weights or tip thicknesses, so I can take advantage of this diversity to create more clarity, depth and contrast in my sketches. Don't worry, you don't have to take notes on all of this, you can find all the links to the tools I'm mentioning in the description below. Lastly, color markers. Color markers are really handy for both analysis, concept sketching, 
as well as for final and polished presentation sketches and drawings. I very often use just one color marker to add color accents to the focal point or focal area of my sketch. But in interior or industrial design sketching, the use of color markers is a lot more intensive. There are many different color markers on the market to choose from, and I can recommend these three brands of alcohol-based markers based on the budget available to you, starting with the more expensive ones to cheaper ones. Copic markers would be probably the first choice for many people. They are definitely on the more expensive spectrum, but they are refillable. Next are touch markers. Touch markers are another great option. They are a bit cheaper than Copic markers, but you cannot refill them. Lastly, Arteza color markers. They are definitely some of the cheaper markers on the market, but they still maintain a great price to quality ratio. If you're starting out with marker sketching and you don't want to spend too much, these might be the right ones for you to check out. You can check my other video where I draw a quick perspective sketch with these Arteza color markers to see how they perform. So if I had to choose my top three tools, one for each phase of my typical drawing process, I would go with Arteza pencil, Stettler pigment liner, and Arteza color marker. You can find all the links to the tools mentioned in this video in the description below. And please share your favorite tools, the kind of tools that you would recommend to a friend. Share it in the comments and I think everyone watching this will find it very useful. If you like this video, I think you might also like these other ones where I use some of the tools mentioned in this video and you can see them in action. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my other videos. Happy sketching! Happy sketching, happy sketching, happy sketching.